record. Well, welcome Zelda. This is Zelda Fuchs from uh, Florida and, and she wants to share her story with us. So take it away, Zelda. My name is Zelda Fuchsman. I am a child survivor of the Holocaust. I was three and a half years old when the war broke out. We were first, we were taken over by the Soviets and then the Germans. We hid in the forest for a while and eventually we wound up all the way in Siberia as a little child, returned back to Poland at the age of 10 and found that our entire families, neighbors, friends, the Jews were murdered mostly in the pits. This, we had no place to go. This was our home. On the 28th of April this year, we're commemorating Yom HaShoah, the day of remembrance. And sometimes I feel like many people will say to me enough already about the Holocaust. And you have to understand, it's never enough. We lost our families, we lost our childhood. And I want to share with you a few of my thoughts. And I hope it gets embedded in your soul to understand why you should always, forever and ever, and your children and grandchildren have to remember the Yom HaShoah, just as we remember the, the Exodus from Egypt. We were abandoned and lost our childhood. Don't abandon us now. We are the voices of our lost families and for those who had no one left to speak for them. All Jews should observe this commemoration because they too were on the road to the killing factories if Hitler had succeeded to win the war. Like it is stated in the Haggadah, all Jews of all generations were on the escape with Moses and accepted a covenant with the Torah, of the Torah. After the Holocaust survivors are gone, each one must take responsibility to continue to remember just as we remember the Exodus and being slaves in Egypt. I wanna share with you another thought that it kind of, as a child, you know, you accept life the way it presents yourself. That's the way it is. You don't question as long as you, your parent, I, I survived with my parents. So if my parents were okay, I was okay. But the reality of what the Holocaust means, I recently thought about it, cried about it, and I want to share with you another little essay that I wrote of my thoughts and feelings. And you have to remember beyond words. Yom HaShoah ve'hagvura, hagvura, the bravery, as the, as the Memorial Day to remember the Holocaust must be inscribed, not only in history, but in the hearts of people and must be a lesson of a, to establish justice and caring for all people. After 60 years, January 27th was recognized as the Holocaust Memorial Day by the United Nations in November 1, 2005. It is a good thing that it was finally recognized and established and thus confirms that the Holocaust did happen and thwart the deniers and haters. At the beginning of acknowledging the evil era, survivors were only uh, declared as survivors, those that survived the concentration camps. Currently, it has been acknowledged that all who were in any way incarcerated, displaced, hidden, on the run, and more are survivors, including children. My entire, like I mentioned before, my entire extended family was murdered in the pits, and it sounded as this action was done as speedily as the word is pronounced. 
and I lived with this history. But when I edited a couple of books for a professor from Kiev and encountered the survival stories of 135 child survivors of the Ukraine and surrounding areas, their suffering preceding the murders were unfathomable. My tears overwhelmingly filled finally flowed from, for my dear family and the people that were part of my life, and of course, all Jews. A volunteer a vo vocabulary describing the Holocaust is long and sounds brutal. Died, perished, killed, shot, hung, starved, demoralized, worked to death, slaughtered, marched to death, executed, eliminated, annihilated, exterminated, massacred, eradicated, destroyed, experimented on, murdered, slaughtered, decimated, transported, guessed, cremated, are words pronounced of evil, but does not expand the time, the suffering that each individual endured beyond endurance before these vile, Acts finish their lives. We have heard and seen these words, but we must see, realize, and feel beyond the pronounced words. Our six million brethren and millions of others suffered every hour, minute, second of their lives. To remember the Holocaust must be a loss in, beyond words. We must not and cannot forget that each of the six million were people. I cannot forget the evil history of that, these events. We re must remember each individual. They were not a number, part of the six million. In Israel, Yom HaShoah is also declared Yom HaShoah Vehagvora, which means bravery. And people said the Jews went to the guest chambers like sheep to slaughter, wrong. They were dehumanized that they could not make a decision anymore by the time they were led to slaughter. If you read the history of what happened to them. But there were bravery. Like for instance, there were great rebellions in Treblinka in 43, in the Lenin ghetto in 42, in the Zdechiol ghetto, the partisans in 42 and 44, the Chenstochova ghetto uprising in 43, Sobibor uprising in 1943, Bielski partisans, 42 to 45, Siret's concentration camp revolt in 1943, Auschwitz Sonder commander revolt in 1944, Bialystok ghetto uprising in 43, the Warsaw ghetto uprising in 43. Just having survived is a rebellion. The future Yom HaShoahs without survivors, the annual commemoration will expand to remember the six million, remember the brave resistors, and remember the survivors. Survivors with tears, with sorrow, with strength, brought the Shoah in the attention to the world. They witnessed by sharing their own suffering. They brought attention by witnessing the evil that befell innocent people. And so it will be there threefold. Today, I want to say Anachnu Po. In Hebrew means we're here. We're still here to speak of our own survival and for those who are silenced. I thank you.